Hello guys, Sanjay here and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Lineage OS ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. So, uh, like I have the Redmi Note 4 over here and to install that ROM, we'll need to boot into TWRP recovery and in order to do that, switch off your device completely. Once the device is switched off, hold the volume up button and power button together. And once you see the MI logo over here, leave the buttons. And in order to boot into TWRP recovery, you will need to have unlocked bootloader and you will need to flash TWRP recovery on your device. In case you do not have TWRP recovery on your device, then do not worry. I have already made a separate video showcasing how to unlock the bootloader and how to flash TWRP recovery. Link for that will be in the i button over here or will be in the description box below too. So make sure you flash TWRP recovery before proceeding and you need to have the latest TWRP recovery in order to flash the ROM. So the first thing you should do is go into backup and select swipe to backup over here so that if anything goes wrong afterwards, you can simply hit on the restore option over there and you can restore this MIUI ROM and you will be back on MIUI 8 or MIUI 9 whichever ROM you have right now. And as it is getting backed up, uh, let me just show you the new toy that I have, uh, which is a spaceship by the way. Uh, you can you can assemble it yourself and uh, you can remove the parts if you want. Okay, let me just do it. Okay, so it's a great, okay, my spaceship is broken right now. I have, I, I have engineers working on the spaceship, so do not worry about that. Once the backup is completed, go back. Go back and now go into wipe over here and select swipe to factory reset. This will wipe cache, dilute cache and data of your apps and this will not wipe your internal storage which includes videos or photos that you had on your device. Once that is done, go back, go back and now go into install over here, scroll down, select the lineage OS ROM, select swipe to confirm flash over here. I'll give the direct link to download this ROM zip file in the description box below so do not worry about that. Once the backup is done, go back. After this, select the G apps package over here and select swipe to confirm flash so that it will get flashed on your device. And just in case if you're wondering why do we need to flash the G apps package, then in order to get Google Play Store and all the other Google services working on this device, we have to flash this package. Otherwise, Google services will not work directly. And the package is flashed now. Simply hit on reboot system over here and the system should boot into lineage OS ROM right now. So here is the MI logo and after this we should see the lineage OS. Okay, you guys can see me too by the way. Yeah, hi, hi. So here is the boot animation of the lineage OS ROM. So we have successfully booted into the ROM finally after a long time and uh, as you can see right out of the box two sim cards are working and uh, Wi-Fi is working too on this device so the setup is completed if we go into dial over here and if we try to dial a number 1977 from Geo the call will not take place that's because VOLT is not working on this device right now or right out of the box and if the VOLT starts working later on then I'll add that in the description box below or in the title of this video so if the title of the video is like VOLT working that means you need to flash some zip files which will be linked in the description box below once again after this let's go into settings let me just reduce the brightness a little bit after this, let's add fingerprint sensor and let me show you that fingerprint sensor does work on this ROM. So, so we have added a fingerprint sensor and if we try to unlock it for the first time, it will ask for the password and for the second time, it should be able to unlock itself. And the fingerprint sensor is surely pretty fast and uh, it's not slow in any way. And if you want to see all the features which are present in Linear Joyce ROM, then I have already made a separate video on that. I'll give the link of that in the i button over here or in the description box below. And this ROM is based on Marshmallow and not on 7.1 or Nuet. And that's because this ROM is released within a month of the device's launch. So getting a Nuget ROM will take a little bit of time. And as soon as Nuget ROM launches for this device, I'll make a video on that. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to get notification about that video and just press that bell icon so that you will get notified about that video. And the ROM is working pretty fine. It's not slow by any chance. And if we go into settings, if we try to change some things and as this is based on 6.0.1, you're not going to have all the NuGet ROM features on this device. 
but surely some features are going to be there which are going to be common in uh, lineage os 7.1 rom and the lineage os rom which is based on android marshmallow so i have downloaded the n22 benchmark application over here so let's test the benchmark scores and let's compare it with the miui rom So as you can see on the screen right now, the difference between the benchmark scores of Lineage OS ROM which is based on Android Marshmallow and the MIUI 8 ROM which was based on Android Marshmallow 2 are not that large and I won't really say that this ROM will not perform as good as MIUI 8 or something like that. But you will surely notice few bugs here and there like VOLT is not working out of the box right now. But Wi-Fi is working, 4G is working and other things which you will need on day to day basis such as applications or anything like that are working on this ROM. But if you need stock ROM experience on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 then don't forget to install this ROM on your device. And if you have the Redmi Note 4 then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below or just click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 are already up on the channel and will be coming real soon too. If you like this video then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and let's see if we can reach triple 5 likes on this video. So yeah, thank you guys, thank you for watching.